Hey everybody, this is Frank Cox with SmokerBuilder.com. Uh, going to talk to you today about another new product we reintroduced here a couple weeks ago on BBQSmokerSupply.com. That's BBQSmokerSupply.com. Um, in this case, it's our drop handle uh, spring handle bracket. Um, that spring handle bracket comes in two different forms. It comes like you see here with a curved back so that you can fasten it to the side of an ugly drum smoker. In this case, we've got it facing up like this. You can also put it down like that if you want. It doesn't matter as far as orientation on the side of the drum or a cooker that you're putting it on. Um, and then it comes with a straight back also. Only difference is, is we've curved this one. This one's flat. Um, but it drops down like you can see on an angle. And we've offset this spring handle enough to where you can get a drill in there or whatever you're going to do to fasten this, a ratchet, something like that. Just made it convenient for you. Um, anyway, this comes with three sixteenths inside diameter holes in the in the back of the bracket. Uh, that works for like a ten twenty four screw, or if you wanted to uh, drill that out, you can put a quarter twenty hole. You can put a quarter inch hole in there for a quarter twenty bolt and nut, or uh, you can use rivets. This is the three sixteenths is a is a good uh, good size pop rivet uh, that you can get at Lowe's or whatever. But uh, anyway, so those holes are already pre-located on there. If you wanted to bore them out, it's real easy to do in a drill press or use a hand drill. Um, just clamp the bracket down to a table before you do that. Anyway, uh, in this case, I've already assembled this one. They're easy to put together on the table. You know, you just get one button lined up, put the other button on, whack, it's on there, you know. But in this case, this one here is pre- I, I, le I ship them, or Justin ships these to you without the bracket assembled. That way you can paint this and you've got all your stainless stuff with no paint. You don't have to mask nothing off. It makes it real easy. So in this case, this one's already assembled, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to, to uh, get the spring handle attached. Um, one more point to hit on real quick. Um, we do, like I said, uh, this week you'll, be, you'll have the ability to buy the straight one. I've got one right here that's not bent up yet. You can just see it's, it's straight. Um, same deal, just it's, it's square it's squared off this way instead of this handle dropping down. So that's pretty easy to, to understand. When you, when you buy the bracket, each bracket is gonna come like this. If I can get a hold of this little button here. It's gonna come with two of these little button caps that you can see installed on this handle right here. It's gonna come with a piece of stainless steel shaft. It's gonna come with the spring handle and the bracket. That's one unit as far as the assembly goes. Um, you cannot buy all this stuff separately right now. That's up to Justin if he wants to sell those. But you can buy just the spring handle. So when you're searching on the website, make sure that if you want to buy the bracket that you get it with the picture that's got this on it. Anyway, um, so in order to assemble this, like I said, it's going to be a little bit trickier since this is already on the side of the drum. We powder coated this. Powder coat's a little thicker. So I took a drill and I cleaned out this the, the powder coat. You don't have to like drill drill. You just take a half inch drill bit and just kind of clean out the hole a little bit. You know, it's not that hard. And then the first step is uh, you line this handle up in there and then you take this shaft. It's already been beveled or coked so that it's easy to get in the hole. You just slide it in there like that. And once it gets to this other side, it may hang up just a bit. Just grab your hammer, hold this bracket and just give it a love tap. If that was too much of a love tap. There you go. So that part's in there. This is the hard part. If you don't, if you don't do the step I'm about to show you, these button caps go on each side like this. Getting them to stay up there while you're trying to drive it onto that handle can be kind of tricky. So what I've done is I've got my old buddy masking tape right here. First thing I do is I take this masking tape and put it over the top of the hole. Handle assembly. Sorry, it fell down. Put it over the top of this handle assembly and I leave myself enough over here that I can roll it around the side. I'm just going to kind of line that up the best I can, that button with the edge of this. And notice I didn't stick it too hard, that way I could lift it up and get to the other side here. Hold my other button up. And then you just want to wrap this around there once or twice and then just tear it off. What that's gonna do is that's gonna hold those buttons in place for me. And then I take two hammers. I got one here, my old faithful hammer, it's got a broken deal. 
This one here is gonna, what I call, bucker up, like they used to do putting the big rivets in the buildings. It's gonna bucker up this side, so you're not gonna swing this one. You're just gonna swing this one here, give a love tap. You're gonna hit it, I say love tap, it's gonna be a little harder. There you go. You just gotta aim real careful, or you can, ha you can have a buddy hold one hammer and you hit the other, but it just takes that little bit of swing right there and then that drives on. Pull your tape off, nobody ever knows you was there. And then you can see that tape, this is a stainless steel button cap, so you don't get a big old like ding in that. When you it. it keeps it pretty clean. So there you have it. One spring handle installed. Uh, anyway, like I said, you can pre-assemble it if you want. I prefer to paint my, weld my bracket on is what I do. You can see here, I welded it down the side. And then I plug welded those holes and uh, you know then you can come back after it's painted and put the spring handle on there it looks a lot better so anyway go to barbecuesmokersupply.com that's bbqsmokersupply.com Justin and John are there to help you they get this stuff out right away as soon as you order it thanks a lot